We live in the village of Sellerdyke, which is a tiny ex-fishing village. We have an amazing stone harbour right on our doorstep, which is massively inspirational. You're kind of surrounded by these interesting pieces of what we would think of as design. And so in that sense, you know, we're kind of connected into it all the time. It's a good place to kind of be inspired. This is where we get the majority of our timber from. So currently we have a woodland here which is overstocked with oak in order to get good oak, so it's all kind of crowded. So we're gradually sort of thinning it out and we can use this wood green for steam bending. We really are trying to say that look, you can use local timber and make high quality products out of it, which you can then go on to a world market. The kind of phrase when we first started was creating jackets for good things, you know, things that are already out there that work really well. So for us, it's always about keeping function there. The way it's packaged and stuff as well, it's like trying to strip it down to the absolute basics. I think we both have a real love of good design. Design that's based on creating quality things that actually are useful to people. This is something that we are working on for the exhibition. So I was thinking maybe we could pull some of that excitement from, from popular culture uh, and introduce it into furniture design. It's been a lot of fun, and I always think the design should be fun. <laughs> Northern Lights makes a real statement about the, the power of design in Scotland, and particularly about contemporary product design. So all of the designers that we've selected, regardless of the stage of the career that they're at, they really personify this rich, bold confidence. I think it's going to really surprise and delight audiences who perhaps have a, a picture of what Scottish design is. And what we want to do with this show is, is really dispel that myth. People do associate Scotland with innovation and engineering and all of these things. That's not the notion of a visual style or an aesthetic, but it's more about this notion of an innovative approach and inventiveness and creativity. Designers in any country pull inspiration from a million different sources all over the world and we do it as designers. But I think we're getting to that stage where products and creative studios are just doing really great work and they don't feel that they need to define themselves by the historically Scottish elements. Maybe we're getting a little bit more refined and a little bit kind of maturing our design language. I always think what's important with any kind of whether it's a city or a nationality. To me, it's much more important to be outward looking than inward looking. And I think what we're seeing at the moment in terms of our contemporaries is that there's a very outward looking international aspiration. So our contemporaries are not looking at domestic markets. You know, they're looking at being world class. Design in Scotland is quite strong. I think it always has been quite strong, really. And I think it's great to be able to celebrate that, to celebrate that national strength of design and making. It just needs to be a great thing. If it's a great product, we can be confident in, in that being enough. <laughs>